Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was busy reading. My name is Eugene Sanderson, and this is a podcast about theories. And I am Theodore Cokins. And today, the word is phlogiston. Yes, the theory of phlogiston. Would you please explain? It originated back in the early 1340s. Yes. Where Christopher Columbus. Yes. Sailed the ocean blue. He did. And then they discovered there was something wrong. Something was dreadfully wrong. Yeah. But there were pirates. There were pirates. Pirates they never knew about, never knew could exist. Yes. They didn't know there was pirates. Yes. And that's where we get this theory. How did the pirates come into an existence? Vlogiston, my friend. Yes. Vlogiston. That is not a god or a swear word that you, we're saying. You heard that here on this podcast. Yes. So... We will go into deep detail. Yes, indeed. So, there's... Let me pull out the manuals on Flogiston. I will give you the definition from the dictionary. The definition of Flogiston. The whereabouts or beginnings of pirates and in the way that they interacted with Christopher Columbus. Indeed. That is the theory. That's, it's more like a definition of Flogiston yes. and, its, uh, and its origins yes. I- involving Christopher Columbus yes. and pirates such as uh, Blackbeard, yes. uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, yes. uh, he was real. to name a few. Mm-hmm. To, to, he was based on truth. It's not the only thing that is truth that is portrayed as false in today's society. Yes. Uh, the, the major news medias, the governments, they yes. are in a conspiracy which includes uh, and dates back yeah. to the 1340s where Flogiston first originated uh-huh. by the pirate himself, the Black Sparrow. Yes, that is the combination. It's true. We, we combined Jack Sparrow and Blackbeard. And yet we did not, for it is fact. Yes, it's right here on this page. Wait. Page number 42. This one's blank. Uh, it must be on this page. Correct. Yes. So... So basically, there's a conspiracy out there that says, it says, it says that Flogiston is an infactual, why don't you read it for me? <clears throat> Straight out of it. It is a dragon's flank. Yes. This is what it would have been like if you had been exposed, as Christopher Columbus had, to Flogiston. Yes. <laughs> You'd have been flanked by a dragon. About ten feet away, yes. you paralleled the dragon's flank, yes. surveying the thick scales trying yes. to locate the vital organs yes. and some way to put a shot through them. Even as he did, it occurred to him that he didn't feel good about it, and that is what we are talking about. Yes. How did he feel? He felt terrible. Not good. No. no. He probably had some plums for breakfast. It is quite possible. Had the runs later. It's true. And then invented fog effect. You come up with the brilliant things while you're on the toilet. Conspiracies? Yeah, that, <laughs> that too. Quite. So, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Foggiston. I mean, podcast of theory. Theodore Culkins. Out. And, yes, and I'm out as well. Out of the job. Because you people suck.